Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. Something interesting happened today, so I decided to make a video. I have this plus 10 more things to wrap. And they're all gonna go in these little boxes because they're all individual earrings and one bag. So I'm not sure if this has happened to other people before, but someone went on a on an offering spiel on Poshmark, okay? So um, my jewelry is buy one, get one free on Poshmark. And someone just went to my jewelry, like if it's $10, they'll offer five. If it's 15, actually if it's 15, it should be 750, but they offered 10. And they went through my whole closet and did that on, gosh, 20, 30, 40, about 50 things. So um, when that happens, if I would accept all those offers, which of course I can, that means I've got to ship each thing individually, which means this tiny thing needs to get in one box. This needs to go in one box and so forth, you know, 50 times. So when that happens, um, you're supposed to message the buyer, the potential buyer, and tell them that if they bundle everything and put it in their shopping cart on Poshmark, then you could send an offer, which was my buy and get one free offer. And then they would only pay one shipping fee, which is $7.89. So I told her that yesterday, the potential buyer, and she never got back to me. So I told her again last night, never got back to me. And then today I told her three more times, all in different spots, just in case she wasn't seeing it. And then she asked questions on certain things like, for example, are all the stones there? Are, is the clasp working? In which I uh, messaged her telling her, yes, no stones are missing. Message, you know, so I know she knows how it works. It's not that she didn't see it or what have you. Um... So anyways, to make a long story short, I declined all those offers from yesterday in hopes that she would bundle them all. Now today she did the same thing with different items. So it was 25 items that she offered and I didn't decline them. I tried one more time to message her and say, hey, if you bundle all these in your shopping cart, then um, then I could ship them and you don't have to pay $256 for shipping or whatever the case may be, 789 times 25 items. And she went offline. So I need a sale. So I went ahead today and accepted all the ones that she did today. Now yesterday I, I already declined them all. So I, you know, she's not getting the stuff yesterday, but everything that she um, offered me today, I went and accepted. And I think it came to like 600 and something dollars. And I offered her, I forgot what I offered her, but I profited $484. So I get, so, uh, oh, I didn't offer her. I just accepted. Blonde moment. Okay. So um, I went ahead and accepted everything today for the sales and she's just going to get, you know, her mailman <laughs> is not going to be happy. Her, um, she's just going to get everything shipped individually to her. So I'm hoping this is gonna go okay. If anyone, if this has ever happened to any other resellers or just, you know, poshers, please let me know. Um, to, let me know if it turned out. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, again, she did pay, you know, I, I profited 484, so she must have paid just under a thousand with shipping, you know, and Poshmark takes a 20% commission. I profited $484 today. And it did take me an hour to pull all this jewelry, so. Um, I worked for the $484 for that hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give her a free, um, cosmetics bag, some new sealed lips, um, a free keychain, a nice thank you card, and a, bun a bunch of stickers, kind of like a swag bag. And that's what I'm going to give her because it's such a big order. And you know, you want to make the people feel special, um, who buy from you. Okay. So that is four minutes in. So the first thing that she purchased was this vintage snowflake um, brooch. So I'm gonna put it in a, in, a, in a tissue and then I'm going to be using these VHS, old VHS priority mail boxes. And um, I'm not gonna bore you with wrapping each one because the video will be too long, but I just wanna show you what she bought, okay? So that was the first thing. The second thing was this I'm not sure, uh, maybe aluminum. It's a little bit tarnished. She's a vintage elephant. I think she collects elephants because the majority of the things that she brought were, were um, elephant. So then she also brought this. 
and um, everything that she bought was under $30. Okay. And then she brought these How Light Turquoise earrings. Okay, we're on number three. All right, she brought these tiny little bone. They're vintage. And I have a kit that tests for ivory and bone. And I tested these, and these are vintage bone elephant studs she brought. I'm just going to be putting them in here. And next we have... these snowflake earrings maybe she's getting ready for winter winter months ahead these bone elephant earrings these danglies these are all costume jewelry i mean the bone the bone elephant obviously is not costume but they're okay a lot of my jewelry is torrid and earthbound and i do buy um closeouts and bulk earrings so that's how I'm able to sell them. Um, buy one, get one free. I sell all my jewelry that's $30 and below. I mean, I have jewelry that's hundreds of dollars, like 14 karat gold. But all my jewelry on my Poshmark closet is buy one, get one free. So um, anything $25 and under. And I think I have 8,000 listings now. So you can check me out at my Poshmark closet and that will be in the description these little jasper stone earrings all right whoops don't want to break anything all right so let's see what else do we have we have these little ones that i called bird nest they have a little pearl and the pearl is authentic because i did shack it's um a black pearl in a little wire kind of like a bird nest all right and then she also brought these little starfish and they kind of look they're cold they kind of look i'm not sure i think they're supposed to be sea glass but faux sea glass okay and all of these are going to fort worth texas these little blue stones and they say lc i think they're uh, liz claiborne they are midnight blue stones all right and then I also have these stones. They're, they're natural gemstones. They're cold, and I forgot the name of them. They are green marbled. All right. These stones as well, baby blue, and they have rhinestones on them. Maybe she's doing early Christmas shopping. Okay, let's grab all this over here so I'll be in frame. Okay. Little black beaded, and these were from Torrid and these vintage swirly faux pearls and like i said these are all getting sh shipped to her separately because she didn't bundle so which is fine i mean i i just wanted her to bundle so she could save money on shipping so little silver um huggies this is a complete pair all right these filigree earrings. Filigree, here we go. Whoops. That's what they look like, filigree, and then there are a pair. All right. These are kind of my favorite. Look how pretty chandelier in the 90s. Those are so pretty. All right, pineapple. These ones were from Lane Bryant. Gold and crystally pineapples. These black and oval. I love the ones that close like that. They um they just don't fall out of your ears the way that a lot of times other ones do. And these are vintage costume, and they are just black stone center. And let's see. All right, these ones, let's open the bag to show you. A lot of black and silver. The only ones that were gold, I think, were the pineapple ones. Again, with those type of clasps. And these have a little M on the back, which I'm not sure, yeah, I'm not sure what brand that is, but they're a little M on the back. I was thinking maybe Madewell. I don't know, maybe. All right. 
these little pearl, not pearl, tiger's eye. Tiger's eye. Okay. And these, which are very long, 90s beaded statement earrings. And they are a brown three inch pearl statement earrings. Those are really pretty and they're pretty lightweight. All right, is that it? Was that as many pairs? Okay, and a very vintage-y um, alligator, or maybe croc. I have it in the listing, I forgot. So this is a vintage briefcase, and it actually has the key. Make sure it works. So we, do, we don't want any returns. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure how to open it. I need to figure out how to open it because the key is inside and hopefully I didn't lock the key inside. I could see myself doing that. So it is a briefcase, but you can, um, you know, you could cross body and wear it as a bag probably. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but maybe. And it is in flawless condition. And I think it's vintage 70s. Again, it comes with the key, um, which I always like that little extra detail. But in all honesty, if someone's going to steal they're just gonna steal your whole bag and rip it open and break it so i don't i don't just like diary keys right so i don't know i've got to open i've got to figure out how to open that because the key yeah i think the key is inside i think i locked the key inside seriously okay so that was 25 items guys 25 items again uh, all earrings plus that one bag and um oh she made a 40 dollar offer on the bag which i accepted and i think i had the bag for 60. so um that was the 25th item there's 24 pairs of earrings plus that bag and i profited 484 which is a huge blessing because we just had to buy a new dishwasher and um and it was more than that <laughs> so anyways that's my daily sale today's saturday i'm not sure when this is going to go up but today's saturday and that's just one order one i mean well not one order that's 25 orders so thank you so much for watching and again if anyone is watching and this has happened to them before please comment below and share your story with me because I'm so curious. And um, if it's never happened and it did happen, how would you have handled it? Would you have just like ignored all of her offers? And I couldn't bundle anything because there was like an open offer on a bundle from yesterday, which was buy one, get one free. There was two items, it was open offer. I, and I did tell her to decline that offer so I could rebundle and like do all the work for her because I really just wanted her to save some shipping. But anyways, maybe that wasn't important to her. So thank you again for watching and take care and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.